Um, hello and welcome to a new game in my Wandan series. I hope this series will continue longer. So let's see how I will do on this game. And I want to try a micro Chinese this time, I think. So let's go ahead and try the micro Chinese. Ah, uh, that is me, that is micro. Currently, I'm not playing a lot of Go games, so maybe I got a little weaker than one done. But let's see. Um, here's uh, the usual approach to the micro Chinese. And I'm thinking. Do I start really large framework? I don't like too large frameworks, so I'm thinking I will just go ahead and play from the top and then lean on the stone. Just... Uh, that is unusual. Usually white plays uh, again uh, coordinates. White plays R6. Mm, that's why I'm thinking uh, that's my move now. My corner got really strong and the honey is not too dangerous because I have already our foreign place. So that is a little bit unusual in this situation. Uh, white prepares an attack on my F3 stone, which is interesting. Um, so if I do nothing, my one stone will be pincered. If it is pincered at H3, I don't care. If it is pincered at K3, uh, that is, I still like approaching at uh, the open corner, which I think is the biggest move right now, so I will approach the corner. Also, the honey at the head of two stones is still a nice move. But since my M3 is a little low, so where do I want to expand? If I play D14, I will expand to C10 and then have this small step here. I prefer in this situation D13 since then I can expand to um, C9 and then the white stone is kind of misplaced. Then the white stones would need to be at C7. So I think my D13 variation makes uh, this little C6 stone slightly misplaced. Now white would love it to have at c7 and pressure my group. This way less pressure is applied. Ooh, a very small move. Second line. He could have gone for a major attack on my uh, f3 stone here. So I will expand my corner framework by a little honey at the head of the stones. We are seeing a cut, which is unusual. Now I can honey at the both uh, sides of, and I will. I do not want my P 
6 down to come under any pressure. Yeah, that is an interesting game right now. White has a large uh, bottom left corner, but he invested uh, four moves to get this far. And currently my f3 stone looks like white had this corner uh, with uh, those three stones. And then I played f3 for some reason coming too close to thickness, and white submitted f at f2. Two, which is uh, kind of weird. And now we're fighting. Those two stones, my corner is fine. So all I need to do I even could take fourth line territory right now. If I'm taking fourth line territory then White will play out and I will play out. If I surround on the other hand, let's go for the shape move first. I suppose White cannot play down since my corner is already quite stable. And now I can come back and try to get my fourth line cross cuts now white leans on my m3 stone and this reduces uh, the influence of his stones I was thinking he was going for a major attack on uh, the one stone. But he didn't. So the only group which is weak right now is my middle group. And that's why I want to strengthen it. So I'm playing this bamboo and then I escape. That is me escaping and at the same time I put a little bit of pressure at this group which protects itself And is it really protected now? Um, let's imagine my stone at S11. If white protects, I play up, white caps. I play this one, white captures. So. I have several options. And I think one of them is little honey here. Let's take a few points. And now white goes for some sort of counterattack on my slightly weakish middle group. Indeed, this move uh, is not for growing some uh, uh, corner group, but it immediately aims at 
disconnecting this one stone. Now what could I do? I could say I am greedy and playing M17, allowing you to build a little more influence and attack my corner group. Which might be a greedy but valid idea. And let's... Or I could say uh, right now... Um, I'm escaping, building more shape, but then I allow White's framework on the top to grow. I don't like uh, White's framework on the top to grow further, so... I'll be a little bit greedy and see where it leads me. Ooh, that is a slow move. That move says right now White is concerned about points around H18. But points... Those 10 points right now are not that interesting, I guess. In comparison to safety of my uh, little group here. So how do I go about that? I think I'm le uh, leaning on this group since... Now my group is strong. Thank you. It is not 100% alive. Uh, let's threaten some uh, top corner territory. Since a move like uh, M15 now is not something that white, right, that white would like to see. Um, I think I'll invest in my fourth line territory a little bit more here. I've made a lot of shape. The gun goes nowhere. I fix myself. So white plays really, really solidly. And for points. Uh, the only weakness is this bottom group. And I think I'll play the shape move first here. Sure. I protect the base of my uh, group, the only weak one on the board right now. I will ask the question whether uh, whether White wants uh, to be low and uninteresting here or whether white wants to fight, and white says he wants to fight. Uh, so, okay. We will fight. A little, at least. We will fight a little, I suppose. There will be some stuff. No. I was thinking there will be a honey right now, but now I'm cut. I'm cut, but that allows a honey at the head of three stones. 
and we will get into this little fight here. Or is it a fight? I mean, I extend. White Ataris, I extend. White Ataris, I extend. This is an Atari, so... White is thinking about the honey at G13 uh, and wants to sacrifice this group I guess so I will be stable on the bottom ah I see of course My, uh, Mr. Edge. So what is my plan? My plan is to get my group into safety and then cut off this piece of stones. Uh, therefore, I will first of all walk out. Play a little shape move. And connect. So I think I get that one for free, right? If I push honey... So my plan was kind of bad, right? <laughs> So what can I do now? Um, I want to push out here. And see, can I at some point make this little area my territory? And I think I can't. <laughs> Since first of all, I need to protect myself this way. White is aiming for enclosing my group. I get some shape. And some shape.
and try the last attack of the game, I guess. Okay, I was expecting that I'm cut off, but since I'm not, I'm gonna try and make this into some points. Like this, for example. Why it reduces. The interesting thing here is that although all of white moves seemed a little bit slow, I'm not picking up that much uh, myself as well. I could go for an attack still, since if I play down, white will play down, I will play down, white will Atari, I will connect, white will connect, I will push, and I will need to disconnect. So I will threaten a second territory, so uh, my... move around g8 may become sentient. And this way I picked up points someplace else. Threaten this little group a little bit more. And at some point, I just wanted to say that at some point, I will want to honey here. And White says, this is not a problem. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Yep, I probably made a mistake here again, a miscalculation. So 
So I could go ahead and capture the one stone. And that has to be enough right now. I am poked at... I will try to resist. And try to resist. And this is still resisting, right? Um, so the one stone goes nowhere. I'm poked at all around the place, so I just have a few points here. I will protect that. And again, I need to protect my um, stones here, but can I protect them this way? Since here I kind of still want to poke. And to poke. So White sees uh, some threat being made here, therefore he takes my stones, I take uh, those points. 
So a fair exchange, I think. Maybe. Also, maybe not. What do I still want to do on this board? This little end game is mine. Maybe this little end game. And is that it with my endgame? Um, I will try this one. Take. Uh, so white wants to make his eye here. That is fine, we will play the end game. And this one. Uh, white connects, so I get uh, the other move that I wanted, which is is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. So I sacrifice 16 points to get 4 plus 10, 14, so maybe uh, <laughs> that wasn't the best trade. Here is some endgame. Here I'm guessing is some endgame still. So white wants, with his connection, not ever to capture those two stones. And I will say you will need to capture them at some point. Like this. Um, Um, an interesting poke. Which probably even was go team. Now we probably see a honey or this one first. Uh, then I take my senti move. And this one is still pretty big.
So from my mini Chinese, I got a nice corner. Uh, there, here's some Aji with cats. I'll take this. I got a corner. And white got a corner, and I got a corner, and white got a corner, and in the center I sacrificed a few stones. I want to remove this poke. Why to thinking about the cut here? Now, does it does this cut work? I think not, since he cuts, I protect, he extends down, I honey, and this goes. Nowhere, I suspect. So, what is left? Uh, this poke is left. And this is a poke which is left. Now that is an interesting development. White says that if I cut here and connect back, then I can never Atari this one. I will poke this anyway. Since then the cut is senti and it is one point. Um, this I think is not that interesting anymore. So I play this move. Or is it is cutting actually a point? I cut, he protects. I play this one and have. I will need to play one more. 
So minus two points for me, and he will need to play this one. And those two. So I think this is a plus one for me, but I leave it for eventual co. And play somewhere else. If I play somewhere else, it will be here, so it is senti for it is senti for white. Here I will protect as well. There goes the coal. So where are points on the board? I think that it's not a point. Um, hmm. If he peeps, I protect, he cuts, I protect, he drops down, I honey, he extends, I extend, he connects back, I connect back. My group is alive, so I think there is no point in this one. But is it still a point here? I think uh, later on it will be. So I first let's play this one so there will be no uh, points there. Um, yes, he needs to protect anyway. And I think we have this, but then that is it. So I pass. Wait, no. After those two, uh, two liberties are filled right now, uh, then he will need to protect. So I will pass. Again and again. This one is dead. Those are captured. And that is it. White won by several points, so a, a rather close game. Some larger territories uh, in the corners. Maybe this trade was not good enough for me. And probably my mistake, my largest mistake, was around this top group. So I say thank you. And we will go to start a review. Last game. Private. Uh, coordinates. So I started with a micro Chinese, and the usual answer to the micro Chinese is uh, this split, since if uh, white does something else, like for example here, then this huge double wing. That is uh, pretty much for black. And if white wants his uh, area to be some something at all, then he will th uh, think about coming back here. But then black's area will continue to grow. So we most often see a split here. And black has choices. Black might apply the most pressure here, and then lean. And we might see something along those lines. Uh, 
or black my uh, but then white is stronger um, no that is the actual game uh, but then white will be stronger and black will have a weakness around r14 so i tried something different i tried to apply pressure to white stone from the furthest point where there is no two space extension for white so if white plays away then i have an interesting attack going on here <clears throat> so I still want my corner to become larger and usually we see this move grows white's base and creates RG around R3 but in the game white extended so I was glad to drop and now the corner is pretty safe and rather large this honey at the head of two stones is not very threatening because the cut is protected so here maybe I will need to submit and take my fourth line but I'm very okay with uh, fourth line from the corner or maybe I will even at this point cut because my corner is safe and white is the one with the problem so probably in the game I would have cut um, and not submitted so what I was thinking the um, proper move for white, the shape move for white is this one white now is safe and any any stone for example and four for white is pretty easy a reduction so just stay ahead of your opponent mm. what I did not expect is uh, e2 since if you want to attack the one stone then you might uh, go ahead and start a direct attack and if even if the stone lives then all the influence for black is gone uh, maybe you might kick and pincer it and say whether black uh, wants to submit to uh, the second line and then just everything is reduced white was worried about the corner and my choices are the honey to grow which is still a big move but I prefer to approach the corner so there will be no big frameworks around and we have this exchange I already explained this move during the game that now c6 uh, actually wants to be at c7 to apply more pressure to this uh, uh, c9 stone and that is a very passive move as white I still would want to play either the shape move or a more severe attack on the one stone since the one stone has no chance of getting any base soon and if it connects on the second line then congratulations for white white just gained a lot of influence and can start an attack later so there will be some wall here for white and that will be a an active game but the second line stone looks weird since right now it looks like when the last move for black was uh, f3 which is way too close to thickness and a bad move uh, right now to play and then white submits on the second line that is that is weird um so i honey we have a cut i apply pressure white extends i extend and i get a little bit greedy here maybe I could have put slightly more pressure onto this group 
so it uh, runs and I try to surround and probably well the poke doesn't work so well so we have some running fight here I prefer to take my fourth line and just get out and here something interesting happened uh, here I'm thinking alright if I do something else and uh, lose Senti for some reason then I will get disconnected my O11 group will be floating in the center and <coughs> K16 already sits there and this allows it to, to run somewhere to a site. So my move was rather risky here since now white I think should lean on my group and disconnect uh, so here I will need to protect my corner, I think. I do not want to play this bad shape and there is still... Wise. And there is still this corner call. I do not want that, so I will have to submit here and probably even here. And now I'm disconnected and need to start running around. So I think my move was rather greedy here. But wild response, I think this is a bad response. Uh, white has a solid group in the corner. What he does not want to do is get, get 10 more points from his solid group while ignoring all the weaknesses of black on the board. So I'm glad to protect myself and even pick up some points. And I think this was my mistake. I think black is pretty well in the game and uh, I think this passive play of white just made me a little bit sloppy. Uh, probably, what should I do? Probably, I should play. a more secure move like this one, for example. And if white submits, then I can reduce. And if white resists, I still have all those honey and that is maybe okay as well, but I do not get two weak groups and I think that was my mistake in the game, white cuts, and I was thinking that I'm still fine here, but apparently I'm not. So if I protect, then we will see this, I guess. Oh, uh, nope, not protect. And yeah, I got a few points here, but oh well, then my overplay was not that bad. But yeah, here that did cost me the game. I wanted to get uh, to attack those stones, but I didn't. Uh, uh, no, sorry, no challenges. 
and now I'm just uh, yeah reducing my losses and get nothing so yeah that was pretty bad probably around 15 points loss for me I tried to um, make up for my mistakes and the game is not even uh, it's not that uh, one-sided right now but here I think I here I miscounted I was thinking that if white uh, captures it all and I reduce those 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 points that will be enough but yeah white got more out of the deal so my end game was or everything that started from this uh, top left corner was pretty pretty bad yeah. <laughs> right now white is ahead and does not need to do anything anymore and that is the game so thank you for watching i hope the one done series will continue and uh, i'll see you next time